It's my own decision to stay in the Arataki gang. It can be pretty annoying having to clean up their mess all the time. But in return, they treat me with a sincerity that is irreplaceable. They always save the best things for me and never leave me feeling down. When I announced my decision to stay in the gang, they all cheered for me. I know outsiders don't think very highly of the Arataki gang, and the members themselves don't really care what others think. But I still want to strive to change the impression we leave. I might complain about them from time to time as my family, but I'll never let anyone badmouth them. Recently, I often feel a mysterious gaze from the shadows that disappears as soon as I turn to look. What an absurd prank. Huh? A Nekomata, you say? Huh. She should have just come right up to me if she needed something. Have you been eating three meals a day? Also, do you have enough warm clothing? This cold spell's only going to get colder, you know? And anyway, are you sure it's not dangerous adventuring all the time? Any new injuries I should know about? Ugh. You know what? Forget that! Just bring me along from now on! I can't have peace of mind knowing that you're out there braving the elements all day long! After I met Master, she said that the path of my fate had intersected with the Adepti Way and took me on as her disciple. To be honest with you, I didn't even understand what she meant by that. But it's been so much fun getting to hang out with everybody, listening to Master tell stories, and sneakily slacking off with Xiangling. And we also get to help the people of Liyue Harbor out a lot. <sighs> I really love it.
used to think that I'd never make a single friend in my whole life. But things changed when I went to Mondstadt. Then after that, I met Master and Sumeru. Now I've met you too. All in all, I think I've been really lucky. Thanks to you guys, my Alarzar has disappeared without a trace. It's the miracle that I never dared to wish for. I never held out hope for a cure. I just figured I'd try and just do as much as I could before my body stops moving. First I was focused on revenge, then forest patrol. And now, finally, I am free to live my life. Are you going to keep traveling? Let me do my part, please. I'll study hard. Whether it's reading, medicine, combat, or assessing the danger. Even something small, like checking the streetlights. <laughs> I hope that many more people will get the help they need along the way. Just like how you saved me.